Hello everyone. Welcome to Create Deed on myself Mohan. At this session, we are going to deal with two problems that is related to combination, which you might feel a little different. So you have your first question here. In how many ways can 10 different toys can be divided equally among five kids? So you have 10 different toys and you have to give divide the 10 different toys to five kids equally. So we can make the numbers little simple. So we can imagine totally we have four ties. So this is an example. So we have four ties and you have to divide that four ties to two kids equally. And we can name the ties for our references T1, T2, T3 and T4. So we can name it for our reference. Now you have to divide these four ties among two kids. So we can name the uh, two kids A and B. Now first kid will get two ties in how many ways? Because if you want to divide the four ties among two kids, each kid will get two ties, right? So four by two, each kid will get two ties. Now, out of four ties, the first kid will get two ties in how many ways? So it is very simple. You have to select two ties from the four ties. So in four C2 ways, right? Now, after you give two ties to the first kid, you will be left with only two ties and you have to give it to the second kid. In how many ways it is possible? It is very simple. So after giving to first kid, as per the theory of counting, you have to multiply that, right? So from uh, four ties, you have to give two ties to the first kid and from two ties, remaining two ties, you have to give it to the second kid in two C2 ways. If you solve this, you will get the answer as six ways. Because what is the answer for four C2? We know NCR is equivalent to N factorial by N minus R factorial into R factorial. Right, so what is 4C2? 4C2 is nothing but 4 factorial by 2 factorial into 2 factorial. If we solve this, we get 6. So in 6 ways, you can give 2 ties for the first kid. That means, see, you can give tie 1 and tie 2, or you can give tie 1, tie 3, or you can give tie 1, tie 4, or you can give tie 2, tie 3, tie number 2 and tie number 4, Tie number three and tie number four. So in this way, you can give two ties for first kid in four C two ways. Now, if the if you give the uh, first kid T one and T two, the second kid will get T three and T four number tie. And if you give T one T three for first kid, second kid will get tie number two and tie number four. And if you give tie number one and tie number four for the kid A. Kid B will get tie number two and tie number three. Similarly, you can fill. So tie number one and tie number four. Tie number one and tie number three. Tie number one and tie number two. See, if the first kid get tie number one and tie number two, then second kid have to select tie number three and tie number four because he is having only one way. Because the first kid is having totally six ways of selecting two ties from the four ties. So, for example, if the first kid select T1 and T3, then second kid have to select only T2 and T4 because you don't have any option. So, totally you have six ways of dividing two ties, uh, I mean uh, four ties among two kids. It's very simple, right? Now, you have 10 different ties and you have to divide it among five kids equally. Now, uh, if, like, uh, if you have 10 ties, the first kid will get two ties in how many ways? It is very simple. The first kid have to select two ties from 10 ties in 10 C2 ways. And you will be left with only eight ties. From that, you have to give two ties to second kid in 8 C2 ways. So second kid can select two ties from eight ties in 8 C2 ways. So totally four ties gone. Now you will be left with only six ties. From that, you have to give two ties to the third kid in 6 C2 ways. So after giving six ties totally, you will be left with only four ties. So from the four ties, the fourth kid have to select two ties in four C2 ways. And finally, after giving totally eight ties for four kids, you will be left with only two ties. Now, the last kid have to select two ties from these two ties in two C2 ways only. That is in only one way. Right? So if we solve this, what we get? We know 10 C2, NCR is equivalent to N factorial by N minus R factorial into R factorial. So 10 C2 is written as 10 factorial by 10 minus 2 factorial is 8 factorial into 2 factorial. Now 8C2 can be written as 8 factorial by 6 factorial into 2 factorial. And 6C2 is 6 factorial by 4 factorial into 2 factorial. 
and 4 C2 is 4 factorial by 2 factorial into 2 factorial and 2 C2 is 1 because we know the value of n c n is always equivalent to 1 right now solve this 8 factorial 8 factorial just cancel this 6 factorial and 6 factorial 4 factorial and 4 factorial so in numerator you are left with only 10 factorial but look in denominator you have 5 2 factorials so you can write it as 2 factorial power 5 right so in this way you can solve this problem now look at the second question so second question is little different from the previous problem so in how many ways can 10 different toys can be divided equally in five unnamed boxes so you might think both are same right so what is the difference but there is a big difference between first and second question because now you have to imagine all the five unnamed boxes as identical so identical means all the five boxes look same right so here there is a small change i will explain you with an example so imagine you have uh, four ties. So you can consider the previous example. So we have four ties, toy number one, toy number two, toy number three, and toy number four. So you have to put it in two parcels, or you can you have to pack it in two parcels equally. Okay. So this is uh, box number one, and this is box. Uh, so you can take two boxes. Okay. So you can't name it as box number one and box number two, because they are unnamed boxes. Unnamed boxes means you don't have any identity. That means they are same. They look same. Now, you can fill the uh, this box with tie number one, tie number two, or tie number one, tie number three. See, if you fill the box, first box with tie number one and tie number two, and the next box must be filled with tie number three and tie number four. If you fill it with tie number one and tie number three, and the next box must be filled with tie number two and tie number four. If you fill the uh, this box, that is the first box with tie number one and tie number four, then the next box must be filled with toy number two and toy number three. Now you might think, why can't I fill the first box with toy number two and toy number three? Because this is not permitted. So if you fill the first box with toy number two and toy number three, you have to fill the next box with toy number one and toy number four. If you fill the first box with toy number two and toy number four, then the second box must be filled with toy number one and toy number three. If you fill the first box with tie number three and tie number four, then the second box must be filled with tie number one and tie number two. But listen carefully. So if you look both the arrangements, right? So if you fill tie number one and tie number four in this first box, second box must be filled with tie number two and tie number three. But both the boxes are identical, right? Both the boxes look same, right? Then this is a repetition, right? So tie number one and tie number four in one box. So here also you have the same. Uh, combination right so here also you have the same combo so that needs to be eliminated so here also look so tie number one and tie number three and here tie number two and tie number four so this is repeated one more time and here also you have the same repeated repetition right because it is unconditional you don't have any condition so you have to pack so you have to divide these four ties in these two boxes that's it so they haven't mentioned you have to put in box number one box number two so you don't have any uh, conditions like that okay so you have only three such ways of uh, what dividing two ties i mean four ties in the two boxes so how is it possible it is very simple so you have to uh, i mean it is similar to previous problem but there is a small modification so you have to select two ties from these four ties in four c2 ways right and the next box uh, will be filled with two c2 ways because you will be left with only two ties after filling the first box with two ties so from the remaining two ties, the next box will be filled in 2C2 bits. And we know what is the answer if we solve this. You know, 4C2 is nothing but uh, 4 factorial by 2 factorial into 2 factorial. And 2C2 is nothing but 1, right? So 4 factorial by 2 factorial into 2 factorial, we know the value is 6. But wait, so here, these two boxes are actually repetition, right? So these two boxes are actually repetition. So if there is a repetition, what we have to do? We have to divide it by Two factorial so whatever the number of boxes is given you have to divide it here so here you have only two boxes so repetition is not permitted right so whenever you have a repetition what we usually do we will divide right for example uh, listen in how many ways letters of the word b can be arranged letters of the word b arranged since you have three letters you can write it as three factorial but you have the letter e repeated for two times so you have to divide it by two factorial right because three factorial by two factorial you get only three 
that is bee can be arranged in three ways bee ebe eeb so totally you have only three such arrangements that means whenever you have a repetition you have to divide it, right so here you have two parcels so repetition is not permitted so you totally have three ways so six factorial by two factorial is three arrangements are possible so here the three arrangements are first second and third or you can consider this arrangement first second and third right because both the boxes look identical both the boxes look similar right but in previous problem you have five different boxes so here you have five identical boxes right so you have to keep in your mind so how can we solve this problem so it is similar to our previous problem but we have to make a small modification by dividing right so here you have 10 different toys and you have to divide equally in five unnamed boxes so here this five unnamed boxes are identical so you can put two toys out of 10 toys in first box in 10c2 ways so you will be left with only eight toys now so from that eight you have to select two toys and you have to put it in next box and you will be left with only six toys and from that you have to put two uh, you have to select two toys and put it in uh, third box now after uh, uh, after you put two box i mean two toys in uh, first three boxes you will be left with only four toys from that you have to select two toys and put it in fourth box and finally you will be left with only two toys and you have to select two toys and put it in the last box and we know what is the answer if we solve this 10c2 into 8c2 into 6c2 into 4c2 into 2c2 so in previous question itself we have identified it is 10 factorial by 2 factorial power 5 so here we can write the same answer but you have to divide it by 2 factorial power 5 but here you have five unnamed boxes because they are identical it looks same so what you have to do you have to divide it by 5 factorial so what you did here so you you divided that 6 by 2 factorial because you have two boxes but here you have five boxes so you have to divide it by 10 factorial by 5 factorial into 2 factorial power 5 so this becomes your answer okay imagine you have uh, 10 different books for an example i am giving you a next question you have 10 different books you have to divide it among three boys so how can we write so 10 different books and you have to divide it among three boys equally okay uh, we can we can uh, okay you have 12 books okay so actually you can't divide that uh, 20 books to three boys imagine you have 12 books so you have to divide that 12 books among three people so three boys so how you will write so 12 c4 into uh, after you give four books to first boy you will be left with only eight books so from that eight books you have to uh, give uh, four books to the second boy so after that you will be left with only four books so the uh, student have to select four books out of four books in four c four ways so this is the case when the objects are distinct that that means you have three different boys right but imagine you have to put these 12 books that means you have to divide uh, these 12 books equally in three parcels so what you have to do so if it is three parcels you have to divide it by three factorial because the three parcels are same right so these three parcels are identical so you have to divide it by three factorial but the three boys are different so you don't need to divide by three factorial right so this three uh, this three factorial is for parcels not for boys okay hope you understood the concept so in upcoming session i will come up with a uh, different problems and combination but wait so we have launched a new application in uh, play store so name of the application is cdts cdts so you can go to play store type cdts download the application so we have launched this application especially for the aspirants preparing for competitive examination and we have planned to put Uh, more videos in C, uh, in the cdts application frequently so download this application and we have included this uh, link of cdts in description also just download it and share it with your friends and uh, thanks a lot for your patience have a nice day